Hi, this is Dominique Finney and I'm with the National Herbalist Association of Australia at the seminar series in Sydney and I have with me a practitioner from Penrith, John Miller Chris. Hello John. Hello, how are you? I'm fantastic. I understand you specialise in family and children's medicine. Certainly do. Great. Could you tell me about that? Well, we started out just um, anyone that came in was uh, treated and uh, it just turned out that we had a lot of uh, young families. Penrith being an uh, area where young people mm-hmm. tend to gravitate and of course lots of babies are born there and uh, we started getting lots of young children with um, colic problems, uh, eczema and uh, digestive issues and it grew from that. Great, now when you talk about um, young children's medicine, what do you recommend to parents for their young children at home regarding herbal medicines? Mm. Uh, It will depend on what's happening with them, but uh, generally we try to give gentle herbs that uh, help heal the stomach or calm the stomach down, uh, help them to sleep. So we're looking at things like um, oats, uh, chamomile, and things like that. Um, There are many gentle herbs that aren't too bad tasting so that the children will take them. Mm, Fantastic. And what about school children? Do you deal with children like with learning issues and that kind of thing? We do, yes. Uh, Especially around the high school certificate time Mm -hmm. when they're all freaking out and they don't know what's going to happen. Uh, There we can give them calming herbs such as uh, passion uh, passion flower, Uh, sometimes uh, sleep uh, herbs. We give things like zizifus. Sometimes we even give the St. John's Wort to calm them right down. But there are a number of other herbs, depending on what's happening with the child. And uh, quite often we'll, we've got to do things with digestion because this is all stirred up. Mm. Uh, so we help there as well. Great. And um, what recommendations do you have for um, families to, with diet for their children? Oh, diet's a huge thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. You have to start from scratch because a, a lot of people get their nutrition uh, information from the cornflake packet. And uh, we try to get people to understand the basic things like you have to have a decent level of vegetables in your, in your diet. Stuff that you get from a fast food shop is not really food. It's an occasional treat, preferably once a year rather than once a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, but just generally trying to get a balance in, in the diet so people understand that you've got to get the nutrition, not just fill the stomach. Great. Now, what led you into herbal medicine as a career? Ooh, uh, that was a tree change. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us about it. <laughs> about uh, 25, 30 years ago, I, uh, I had a uh, family crisis and uh, re-evaluated my whole lifestyle and what I was doing, where I was going. And uh, I'd always had an interest in gardening and in herbs and in, in natural medicine. So I thought, why not? And uh, I just started moving down that direction, mm. end up doing uh, a course, end up doing a degree, then did an advanced degree, mm-hmm. and uh, all in herbal medicine, and love it. Okay, great. How did you <laughs> find the seminar here today? Fantastic. It was really good information. Excellent. Mm. And um, how are you finding the National Herbalist Association? How long have you been a member? I've been a member about three years, yeah. um, and I wish I'd done it earlier. <laughs> okay. Thank you, John. It's been a pleasure talking to You're you. You're welcome.